Welcome everyone to the May 1st meeting of the Town of Arlington Redevelopment Board. Uh, we'll call this meeting to order. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and uh, just do quick introductions. I'm Rachel Dunbarry, Chair of the Board. Uh, Kim Lau. Eugene Benson. Steve Rubelak. And joining us, we have Claire Ricker, the, um, uh, the, the director, director, thank you. That's the word in the chair. <laughs> Head Director Head. of the Department of Planning and Community Development and um, Assistant Director Kelly Linema. Welcome and thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, so let's go, move right ahead into our agenda. This will be an abbreviated meeting as we will adjourn to town meeting um, between 7.45 and 7.50. Uh, the first item in our agenda is a review of the um, MOU for ARB properties that's related to the three articles um, that were recently approved by town meeting uh, related to the transfer of ARB properties back to the town. And I'll turn it over to Claire, who has been uh, reviewing the draft with Doug Hunt. That's right, thank you. So what you have before you and was included in the agenda is the um, draft I received back from attorney Heim um, after uh, initial, uh, an initial draft that I had forwarded to him and the town manager, um, I, I believe a few weeks ago that we looked at um, as a group. So this is the return of that draft with Doug's comments and changes. Um, it doesn't appear mm -hmm. that he is uh, included as a red line. He's in fact uh, rewritten much of it. I think there are, um, there's not, too much to point out here. I believe this says, you know, we will, uh, item four, the town manager shall afford the redevelopment board or its designee the opportunity to participate in any future solicitation of leases for tenancy of any kind in each or any of the properties, um, which refers back to the three properties that were ultimately voted to transfer. Um, I'm hoping, or I think that's what the board was looking um, for I think in retention of the rights um, to uh, approve or at least discuss leases prior to um, execution. Um, there were another piece in there. Uh, Ken, I know you had said let's not um, let's not lease to excuse me here let's not lease to uh, any more town departments. Um, I the manager pushed back on that a bit, um, but. You know, I, I think that you can see in item five here, at least it's some um, mention of the intensity of use of the properties as, as offices for town department. Um, one bit I threw in um, was that I did not want to see um, any parking rights assigned to 23 Maple to then be reassigned to another entity, say uh, the, central, the central school building um, I know the senior center has had concerns with parking over there, um, as well as, you know, for other events and things like that. However, I think we should not entertain, or I think that it would, it would, would not be good to entertain this, this idea that, well, you know, we could do a leasing of the, the parking at 23 Maple for the benefit of another property. Um, that is something that I put in. Um, I think generally uh, those were uh, a few items that I had put in there. Also, I wanted to make it very, very clear that any, um, you know, any um, service of leases, um, any kind of administrative work uh, re related to, um, um, you know, the, the, the kind of work that goes along with leases, collection, collection of rent, um, you know, renewals, things like that would become, would not be um, the responsibility of the PCD office um, and that that would be taken on by the facilities department. So those are some of the highlights. I don't know how um, much of an opportunity you, you all have had to review this latest draft, but I thought we could take some time to sort of discuss some comments. Sounds great. great. Thank you so much for your work with Attorney Hahn to get us to this point. Uh, so we'll see if there are any comments and we'll start with Gene. I do have comments. So I think <laughs> not at all. It was a good place. <laughs> well, well, I have to start by reminding everybody, I thought it was a bad idea to have MOU. I thought we should turn over to the three properties and not turn over Maple Street, 23 Maple at all. So you're welcome to ignore all my comments. <laughs> right? But I'm thinking through based upon what the vote was, what would make sense. The first thing I'm concerned about is the second whereas, 
which says the redevelopment board successfully restored the redevelopment of such properties. We didn't do that for 23 Maple Street yet. Right. So I don't like signing something where there's something that's factually incorrect, right? So I would say, I would say, you know, successfully restored and redeveloped 20 Academy Street and 611 Mass Ave, but 23 Maple Street still needs to be restored or redeveloped. Mm -hmm. So I would make that suggestion for changing that whereas. The, the next whereas I don't really like very much either. Um, I would just change it to, whereas the town now seeks to transfer the custody and maintenance of these properties from the redevelopment board to the office of town manager because the facilities department reports to the town manager, period. And leave out all that they're more efficient stuff. Yes. So okay. I would so strike change. everything from in order for and just change it because yeah. the facilities department reports to the town manager. The the fourth whereas, the one that says the parties seek. Um, the problem that I, I have with that one is says future disposition of the properties to other town agencies or departments. What happens if the disposition is to a third party? So I would like it to say, or other third party, because what happens if mm -hmm. a deal is to sell it to a nonprofit, to a developer? So I would put in, or other third party. On that, on the next page, let's go. Um, two things, um, somewhere here, I don't know exactly how to say this, 23 Maple is going to have to have a lot of work done on it, I think, when the town departments move out, unless they just throw some other town departments in there. So if they're going to put together a committee to work on that, I think we should be have a seat on that committee or a okay. place on that okay. committee as we would have had if we still own the building. So I think there should be um, maybe add to six, you know, after that one sentence, the ARB shall be given the opportunity to participate in any committee for um, the redevelopment of 2020. So just some sentence like that that's added to it. Mm -hmm. Um, then the term of the memorandum of understanding. Um, so that one is weird because that one does talk about this proposal to a private party, right? Even though the previous one didn't. So I think it should say, unless the town meeting transfers any of the properties back to the redevelopment board, which could happen. So I would do that as a clause at the end of that one. And at the very end, I think they should say the ARB voted to approve this MOU on and put the date. Okay. So it's on there. So those are my suggested changes. I would have run that by Doug to see what he thought about it by him. That's okay. It's a meeting and then I can forward it again to Doug. <clears throat> Doug wrote this. So. <laughs> I know, but he might be okay with the change. Right. It could have been his first draft. Maybe they like it. They don't want to change it. Anyhow, those are my comments. Great. Any comments? Yeah, I saw this. This is breaking down into two things. One is to continue leasing the building, and the other one is to sell the building. Mm -hmm. right. um, so, if we sell the building, I think we want some part of, uh, uh, say, who goes, uh, who's, who's, who's going to buy it. Uh, and then if they rent the building, which they are, I, I just want to say that I don't, we don't need to talk to them about who they rent to everybody. Mm -hmm. I just want to, I, I still feel strongly they should put a cap on what the percentage that they're allowed to, uh, to rent to themselves. Because mm -hmm. you see what, you know what Doug's office is. That building was also, okay. that was given to the town. Mm -hmm. And it was given to town to use for the best of what they can. Now it's just town offices. It's not, you know, these are also, I mean, I don't want the senior center. I call it senior center. It's not really that. But uh, to be also become town offices mm -hmm. and, not, and not be part of the arts there. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, they have, the, the media, uh, they have a media player. They have, cost, they have, they have all sorts of other things going on there. 
I think it reaches the town and it, and it has to build it, but it has a home because we allow it to have a home. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you all this little story. It'll just take a second, but it's related to that. About 25 years ago or more, I was the, I was the chair of the board of the Mystic River Watershed Association and we got a grant and could hire our first executive director, but we had no place, we had no office. Mm -hmm. and, um, I just become chair. I won't go through the machinations. <laughs> so I spoke to the then um, planning director and said, is there any space in the town that you're not using that you haven't been able to rent out where we could like put this new org, it's not a new organization, but we probably have staff. There's this place <laughs> in this building that we haven't been able to rent out. And for about the first decade, the Watershed Association was there and didn't have to pay rent. Eventually they started paying rent. But that was one of the advantages of having it be exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I don't want that to go away. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's a problem. And so, I think we, we were the shepherd of that. Right, so one of the things that Claire and I talked about, and I think what was in Claire's first draft she dug, was a cap at 30% in terms of the percentage of any of these three buildings that could be occupied by town departments, unless otherwise engaged um, in a discussion with the ARB. So one of the things we could talk about is how hard we would like Obviously, that is not in this now. Not here. Um, so we could push harder for that and discuss whether or not Claire and I decided on that percentage as a first, um, you know, opening uh, point of discussion with mm -hmm. the town manager and and attorney Heim. Um, but we can certainly have a discussion around whether or not that is the right number. And um, if so, if that if having a specific threshold is something we'd like to push for. I would like to have a threshold. I would like to push for a threshold. Okay. Uh, I think you're asking for 30% is, is fine, but I think I'm willing to sell, uh, see what the rest of the board is, for 50%. Just so it, it doesn't become a burden on the town. You know, yes, we don't want to do this, but I, I'm just trying to be fair. And then I also like uh, what you said about the park. The parking on uh, 23 Maple, it should be with 23 Maple, because otherwise, if you, if you do anything else, the hamstrings, that potential, future potential mm -hmm. for redeveloping that property there, yes. and you, you, you already just wrote uh, the fate of that property already. That's right. It's remain what it is. And I, I have been that he's going to take that building and make it to the town offices, just like, you know, and, mm -hmm. and they won't do nothing to it. You know, they already got the handicapped access into it already. Right. They just gonna throw a bunch of offices in there and call it a day. You know, um, and I don't, I don't think we should do that. You know, I think the first floor could be that, but let's have it something else above, you know? Uh, we don't have it, I mean, I don't know, we don't have any emergency shelters right now uh, in this town. If there was a fire and a house burned down, where could we put a family for a month? You know, or or any natural disasters or anything that happened, a gas explosion. We don't have any of those facilities, and I think that could be a potential. It doesn't have to be open all the time, but we used to have that facility there. Mm -hmm. You know, like back in the fifties, you know, the the bomb off shelves, you know, with, the, with all the the water and stuff below there, and you know, the desk you have to hide under so you so you'd be safe. You know. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's so many things that we could do about it if we had the space and we thought about it instead of just taking it up as that. Yeah. I think it's important. I, I the point is well taken, and I think it, it's probably not the worst idea for us to push back on that. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the budget document tonight, but they have. They are seeking to appropriate funds to repair the HVAC and install a new elevator. So it does seem like they could attract new leases, hopefully for, for non-profits or private, um, you know, tenants. That's not community, community center, center yeah. right? not 23 Maple. Not 23 Maple. Community. I'm talking about the leases. 23 Maple, those, I, that, <coughs> I don't think, sorry. DPW is, um, they're not scheduled to move out until next year, I feel like. 
when 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 I don't know the exact date. It was supposed to be when the, the Grove Street. Grove Street. Yeah. yeah. Um, I um. I've seen some plans. I've seen some con conceptual plans for housing um, at 23 Maple. I don't know how the board feels about that necessarily, but I do think that you know certainly have a word in the disposition. And what? How would you? <laughs> so for you associating here, or just thinking, how would you feel about there's the set? What if we were to say 23 Maple and its disposition? We um, should not be town offices, but maybe not include that sort of cap at where the senior center is right now. Is that an interesting opportunity or should it be across the three properties to put a cap on um, town leases, leasing to town departments? Our initial discussion was that it was across all three right. properties because that was, um, they're also different. Right. And um, one of the things that has been a disappointment to this board, for example, is that the town spent all of that money on that commercial kitchen you know, not realizing re revenue from from the event space and opportunity to um, to to utilize that space. Mm -hmm. So to not put a cap on that seems like a miss because yeah. I think that we want to make sure that that is still space that has the potential to be more broadly utilized by the community. Okay. So if we were to say, you know, let's limit town leases at the senior center building, the central school, would that, would, would that then extend or you would want it over 23 maple? What, um, and in a disposition situation, where would you dispose of it uh, to let's say a private entity of some kind, would the board be interested in leasing it back to town offices? Say for example, we dispose of it to just thinking the Arlington Housing Corporation. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. housing corporation Washington, excuse me. And the deal with how with them was, hey, let's build senior housing with some office space to be rented by, I don't know, a future housing department or something like that. Sure. Is that something that the board would be interested in? I think it would be an interesting discussion. I, th I think the, the point is, you know, again, to have the board uh, weigh in in that no matter. discussion. Okay, across all three of I just don't see how uh, housing. Uh, Housing Authority will want to do that. The housing Corporation? Yes. Uh, what would they gain from that? Um, I think they, I think the cost of unit housing is too high. Uh, their money that they have set aside for their housing is spent, best spent on other projects than that one there. Uh, I just threw out the name. I know. I, I, I just I, I started real quick and said I'm just running. <laughs> Win. No. So, so quick, no, quick, quick numbers saying, you know, if I was the house, I, I wouldn't do that and lease back stuff because that just wouldn't make sense. I, 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 it's not the best bank of the dollar, mm. the little dollars I have to make more housing. I, I don't, I don't know. No, you guys think about that. I just see it that way. Where... I mean, that was so hypothetical that, yeah. I, yeah. that I necessarily want to weigh in on that particular yeah. item, but mm -hmm. I think the concept is is interesting. Yeah. I, I think we should be part of it. Mm -hmm. Leave it at that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to ask Steve for, for his comments because you haven't had a chance yet to um, share your thoughts. I do have uh, one suggested edit. Mm -hmm. uh, the very last sentence on page one. Mm -hmm. uh, capital planning committee as appropriate consistent. Yes. I think there's a word missing there. Mm -hmm. Maybe the word in. Ah, yeah. Um, Claire, thank you for explaining um, the 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 motivation for the parking rights. I was I was wondering. I was I had that had a note there to ask uh, where why. Huh? <laughs> um, as far as I mean, twenty three maples an interesting property it's it's art it's zoned r7 mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. but not a, large enough to actually build an apartment building mm -hmm. it's it's sort of an oddball like that i guess regarding leasing to town bodies um you know i i like the sort of civic aspect of having a place that we can lease out at lower cost to a to a nonprofit or whatever but i 
you know, I feel like I need to know what the town's like space situation is, and I don't mm, um, right. because I wouldn't want to. You know, my concern is that we, we're in a place where we find ourselves in a place where we need more office space and then have to go rent it out from a private. Um, you know, either we aren't able to get it or we have to uh, rent it out at, you know, market rates. Um, I was also curious about the mix, if there's, if we know the percentage of the community center that's rent leased out to uh, town bodies. Well, off the top of my head, I don't know, mm -hmm. but I, it's likely 60% or oh. more in terms of square footage. Yeah. yeah. So there's, yeah, and I mean, this is, I think the challenge with 30% is, okay, you do have uh, the Council on Aging is there, mm -hmm. uh, Health and Human Services mm -hmm. is there. Um, I don't know what other, you know, what other, but if you were to say put, impose a 30% cap and you had to move half of the town offices out, um, We're, you know, there's we call that pre-existing or real as Oh, okay, yeah, but you, you see where I'm you see what I'm getting at. And I think it's the language that had originally been inserted was not that it was an insurmountable cap, mm -hmm. but that no. at that percentage that precipitates a conversation is is really the threshold. Mm -hmm. And the language that was there was, you know, current leases and agreements notwithstanding mm -hmm. right? okay, yeah, moving yeah. forward. Yeah. You know, let's because we mm -hmm. DPW will, will eventually be out of there. Right. But then we'll have to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. And if once that building is vacant, if we only wanted, let's just say it's three floors, one floor is okay for town offices, but we'll do something different with the other mm -hmm. two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll bring that back up. Sure. What Doug? Yeah. So are you are you bringing up thirty percent or but if we feel no more, more comfortable than, as no a board, more than the current percentage? Okay. Well, the problem is it's full. No, 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 no. <laughs> no more than the current percentage in the other two buildings, and twenty three Maple has to be a conversation with this board. With the board. With the board. We could do that instead, for, instead, instead of setting of, a specific right. threshold. We could. Um, you know the goals. I'm, I, I know. I'm, I'm just yeah. trying to. I, no, I, 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 I just want to find another way to. Yeah. yeah. And I'm wanting more flexible in numbers. I'm not just trying to right. say, hey, you know, we're stuck. You know. <laughs> and I know. Uh, I think the Jefferson Cutter House is sort of the flip of that, where I think that's all pretty much all non town. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We keep like one small room or something. I'm not even sure. A little conference room in the basement. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah. It's cute. <laughs> yeah. It's it's storage room. Room. Yeah. 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 And uh, a conversation will need to occur around. All right. Okay. All right. Any other um, comments or try to bring back to? How soon do they need this to be signed by us? Is this something that's under? I think it says on or before June 30th. June 30th. I think it says in here. Okay, so we do have time, right? Now. We still have some time. Okay. Yeah. And I can bring that back to you later. We can see if I ask you some questions. And <laughs> Great. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, else? Negotiate this. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, any other questions or comments on agenda item number one? All right. Then let's move to agenda item number two, which is an update on MBTA communities and the planning process. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Um, I, I, as uh, this board has requested when we established. Um, the MBTA Communities Working Group and launched the MBTA Communities um, process. Um, we were asked to bring back updates and um, you know share where we are. And uh, so with that, I'll turn it over to Kelly and to Steve Revelak, who is a representative on that working group. Okay, sure. Do you want me to provide the overall schedule and then you can 
Okay. Um, so we have closed the community-wide survey. It was a visioning survey that was pretty open-ended and really had a lot of mappable um, elements to it so that we could hand the results from that survey over to the consultants so that they could start to understand based on the community preference, community vision, what is the potential best location or locations for a district or districts. Um, that community survey closed uh, just over a week ago. And we've also re released to kind of cover the gap between then and when we come back with alternatives, um, we've released visioning kits. So we're inviting the community to host their individual meetings. Um, we have a meeting on Thursday night with the working group and we're gonna really, that meeting is exclusively focused on engagement. So we're gonna be talking about how to encourage people to schedule these meetings to get them set up so that they can get the kits back to us, get the content back to us before May 19. On May 16, we have a separate working group meeting where um, our consultant UTL will be coming back with um, like a draft of what we would eventually bring to the community. So that way we can run this through, we can run this by the committee um, and get preliminary feedback. Um, and then uh, UTL can take the feedback from the working group, but then they can also take any final comments from the meeting in a box or visioning kits, and then do some final revisions to those before we come back to the public. Um, we're looking at, he has a question. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That wants to come to the board too. Okay. To okay. All right. Um, we can also see about. I think the board's next meeting is May fifteenth, so we can see about bringing that to the board on the fifteenth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we can do that. Um, okay. So. Um, because we don't have anything else on the agenda for that meeting either. So um, on the 15th, they would come to the ARB. On the 16th, there would be a working group meeting to review the draft. Um, and so basically between the 15th and the 19th is like incorporation of like final things. Mm -hmm. um, UTL then will take that and prepare a final revision for looking at um, June 8th for a public meeting where the recommendation based on what we've heard from the community, the outreach that's been gathered to date will come back to the community. This isn't going to be the final version at all. This is just like, we need to bring, we haven't talked about locations. We've, we've gathered visions about locations, but we haven't like said, all right, here's some points in the sand as far as where this thing is gonna go. And so this will be like the first time we're going to the community and saying, all right, here's the side, here's the district locations or districts locations. And now this is when I think we're gonna get a lot more feedback. So we've gotten a pretty good amount of feedback so far, but this is when we're really gonna to start to hear from people, I believe. It, we're looking to have a survey that goes out with that public meeting. Um, and so this will be an in-person public meeting. I don't think hybrid is necessarily gonna work. So if we need to do a separate virtual meeting, kind of to run those two side by side, we'll figure out how that will work. But. Um, the, I think what will be great is if we have like, here's the scenario or scenarios. And then we also have like just a general map because people are always gonna be, that people are gonna have ideas that maybe haven't been considered and they can start to mark, mark those up as well. Um, and then at, at that date, that's when we really start to do engagement around the draft and looking at iterating on that and coming back with a final scenario probably by the end of June, which is when UTL's contract needs to end. Mm -hmm. Any more technical zoning, like tweaks to the zoning, adjustments to the zoning, those can likely be done without UTL at that point. Um, because I think people here like on the board, they're like zoning experts who are working in the working group and they can start to like finalize the zoning before it goes back to town meeting. Um, but really the point is to use the month of June to really get to location, to get to massings and get to like the visuals that we need to then go forward and do more education around, around what's ultimately gonna come to this board in the fall. Couple of questions. Mm -hmm. One is, you said at one point scenario and another point scenarios. Yeah. We don't know yet. Yeah, no, and that's where we've given the survey results to UTL. Um, 
who was actually a little bit surprised at some of the vitriol in the open-ended comments. It's probably worse <laughs> than what they've seen from other communities. Um, yeah, exactly. No, they were like, whoa, um, people. Um, it was in a way like comforting that other people had that response because I've gotten into a dark place by looking at survey results. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we, we don't know yet. So UTL is gonna take a look at it. If things obviously cohere around a very clear alt option, then that's what'll come back. If they're sort of like, you know, two different versions that the town could go with, then we'll work through that with you. We'll work through that with the working group before we figure out how we're gonna present it to the community. But I think either one of the, if there's more than one scenario, UTL has said to us that they are going to make sure that it is encompassing enough and broad enough that it will, even with some refinement, meet DHCD's requirements. So we're not looking for something that only nominally complies. We're looking for something that definitely complies. Um, it's just a matter of how. Like, did you see what happened to West County? Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're not doing that. Although that was just with their action plan, but <laughs> boo on them. Yeah, um, yeah. A couple other questions about that. Yeah. One is, I think some time ago we talked about creating an overlay district that would be eligible for 40R. Is that still on the table or is that off the table? It's on the table. It's a separate process. Yeah. Um, I'm concerned that um, a smart growth district may require a two third vote. And mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I'm not sure I want to bring that to town meeting right. at the same time. Right. That right. doesn't mean that we couldn't use the an MBTA community's overlay to drive establishment of 40R. Yeah. Um, and we could look at that next spring or you know something like that. But I think initially we'd like to get it in place, and then we could look toward you know two thirds votes, changes, updates, whatever, mm -hmm. like 40R, mm -hmm. 40S, smart growth district. So so if I understood correctly, they're going to come with one or two scenarios, which is this is where the districts could be. Yeah. Are they also going to say? Three family, four family, six family, townhouse, or, or they could just going to do what Lexington did, which is they don't limit the number of units, mm. they just do it by height and density and stuff like that. So that's sort of one question. What comes along with mm -hmm. on June 8th? With, where? Right. Where? Yeah. What comes along with that? So one of, um, we discussed this at um, like an earlier working group meeting and one of our, our consensus was, um, you know, the first product from the UTL should not look finished. Mm -hmm. um, we want to give some, we want to have, we want to show the community something that, or we don't want to create the impression that, okay, here's, here's, you know, yeah. here's a plan. It's, a it's like, you know, you'll see this and there'll be room for another iteration and you know, it was primary, the request with the ask was primarily to focus on location and not so much like number of units, heights, that but, sort of but thing. But if, if I were coming to this meeting mm -hmm. as a member of the public, I would want to know. We, and we right? will is have, it, is yeah. It three yeah. families, <laughs> four families, six families. What what are you proposing? Mm -hmm. in part of what helps you to decide yeah. if mm -hmm. where is right. appropriate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think we will have some of that. It's okay. just like we don't. Part of it is that like they're reviewing the survey results right now to try to understand, like we had questions about like affordable housing people, the community was like overwhelmingly in favor of affordable housing, but it's gonna be like, all right, in this scenario, if you really wanna see inclusionary zoning triggered, you're gonna have to allow six units. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're talking about anything much larger than that. We're talking about missing middle housing and we're talking about like, we're not talking about larger towers. We're not talking about significant development like in town, which is significant development is usually 20 to 30 units. Those are separate processes. And I think what we've been trying to be clear about is that this MBTA communities is one piece in a housing puzzle. Mm -hmm. So it's like this, this isn't, we've been careful to try to not load too many hopes, desires, mm -hmm. dreams, wishes mm -hmm. into this one 50 to 130 acre district which yeah. is really about missing middle housing. Yeah, I mean, one of the, this is another thing that we talked a lot about as a working group and you know, things that we wanted, you know, things that we could do, but in the end, I think there was a, a pretty strong, you know, settling down of, you know, this, let's just focus on housing near transit, 
Mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the other stuff is nice, but just housing your transit yeah. is going to be difficult just by itself. So yeah. let's do that. And I think that's what the survey results bear out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Steve had shared with you just the, the kind of highlights from the survey. Mm -hmm. And I think the housing near transit is a really high priority. Sustainability is a high priority. Yeah, so the it's it's interesting. The housing near transit was got a well, sustainability got got the most mm -hmm. got the most favorable response. Housing near transit, the first question was also fairly favorable. And I mean, if you added up um, you know, important and you know, um, you know, secondary, mm -hmm. it was the percentages were quite high. But once you broke it down into, um, you know, in commercial districts, near commercial centers, oh, yeah. you know, when, when you started to actually get put locations behind it, the report, you know, it got less support, but, you know, still, still fairly well. Yeah. Um, I did mean to ask you, I had started, um, you know, coding and tagging comments. Would that be a useful exercise to continue? Yes. Okay. Yeah. If you have the bandwidth to do that, that would be really helpful. It'll, it'll be a launch time effort. Okay. Um, but you know, the other thing that's you know, I've all, I've gotten through one question's worth, and one of the the things that's a little interesting is if you is comparing, um, you know, you have for each question you have a set of categorical responses. Mm -hmm. If you do the same thing but only the ones that um, you know, submitted comments, um, they're far more negative. Mm, so yeah. you, you get you get the sense that, you know, some of the, so one expectation as I go through the other 12 is that, you know, people are going to use the comments to, you know, to <laughs> express discontent, but mm -hmm. some of them were also rather good. Yeah. Um, and one of the things that I had, a, had to think about, you know, I thought about doing word clouds, but you take a word like density. Oh, yeah. There, there were some people, there were a number of comments that had mentioned density in a negative way, but there were also quite a few that had positive things to say about it. So yeah. I'm, I'm trying a word cloud with, you know, pro with, with sentiment mm -hmm. on top of it. I, I will say, so I have um, had a meeting with Beth Locke from the chamber, also talked about this briefly with the chamber of commerce, uh, the board of the chamber of commerce. They are very eager to be a part of this conversation. They definitely have said, um, the chamber board has said, we want to see more density around our businesses. Mm -hmm. We don't wanna see a loss of commercial space. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to balance that need. And I think we've, we've been aware that that's been a part mm -hmm. of it, but they want, to, they want to help support this. Mm -hmm. So they are very like, and they, they feel that MBTA communities mm -hmm. is part of the economic development bill. Mm -hmm. This, this law and our compliance with this law will help our business districts. So mm -hmm. they're very excited about it. Mm -hmm. They just had a lot of questions. I mean, I think zoning is hard, so. Yeah. yeah. Please do, because we're gonna, yeah. we're getting- well, One is, I, I agree with you, but I think Steve is correct. Maybe you say it quite the way you want to hear it, but we are not providing a finished product. I understood that. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Think, I think that's, so it makes it more close, because that's one of the things that we didn't like. In the past we did uh, reclassifications uh, but I have one question is you said you you till is done with their commitment in June the end of June unless we can find more funding right yeah. I have concerns about that because part of, uh, of making this successful is having proper graphics and, and representation of mm -hmm. some of our ideas and the ideas are not end in June we still got yeah uh, months of development of this stuff here, and we need to present it in such a way that we can. It's understandable and digestible. Yeah. And so I feel like if their funds run out of June, we got to get more funds mm -hmm. or find some some other way of uh, producing our ideas uh, at the end of September, because September is when we're going to that's the show. And if we don't have the proper graphics. Mm -hmm. All we have is graphics in June. It's not we're not gonna win. So can we find funding somewhere else? And I mean how much funding? What is utility getting right now? Put up twenty thousand dollars. It's not it's much. Not no, much. no. And so we I mean one option is applying again through MHP for more technical assistance. Another option is applying for district local technical assistance through MAPC. Um it's it's just a challenge because we just don't from the town don't have funding to do the project. Can we be asking the town for, uh, I think we need another at least 20, 
another 20,000 just to get the proper graphics together. So we get this and it's important enough where if we don't get it right, we're gonna lose this thing. And- um, So we, we have money set aside for the commercial design standards. We do, mm -hmm. we really, cannot spend yeah, that, that, that was, was a, a special appropriation. appropriation yeah we cannot mm -hmm. repurpose a special i was hoping to use it to do the business district zoning right. right so we could do it just around that but truly it should go for commercial mm -hmm. design guidelines. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. um i am not sure where we are in terms of the budget for cdbg there is allocation in there for planning studies and things this does not quite fit because it's not an affordable <laughs> housing you know um <laughs> policy so right. You know, that's that's probably not the best fit either. Um, but I can certainly ask where there may be some additional funds. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to, I need to apply to MAPC for direct uh, local technical assistance related to the business building. So, I, you know, I'm happy to put in another application to look at, you know, continued work on MBTA communities. Um, I'm also happy to talk to the budget director and the manager about additional funds. So MAPC did the last thing first and they couldn't do it. So well if no no no. So so if they did, if we had funding for DLTA from MAPC, which is a lot of acronyms, we can talk about they tend to use consultants to to implement that work. So it wouldn't be MAPC staff doing it, it would just be funding. The, the other thing, it's not time to figure out what it is, but when, when we know what's going to be happening, it would be helpful to think about. A theme for this other than MBTA communities. Mm -hmm. You know, like I've said a lot of times, we could think about this as 15 minute neighborhoods, yeah. things mm -hmm. like that. So, you know, thinking about some sort of theme yeah. that could go along with mm -hmm. it when it's presented, you know, and then put the put the Yeah. The All right. So we um, are going to need to wrap up so that we can adjourn to town meeting. Are there any other comments um, on what has been shared so far for MBC? Okay, uh, so let's close agenda item number two. We know that we're going to be uh, meeting again to speak about that on May 15th with the draft report from UTL. Um, I'll now move to agenda, agenda item number three, new business and see Mary Tully if you have anything on your business. I have nothing under new business. Okay, great. Uh, so let's see, just looking ahead at our, I do wanna just look quickly ahead at our schedule. So we have um, May 15th coming up. And right now, uh, I believe that the MBTA communities is the only thing on that agenda. Mm -hmm. um, and then our, that that's our only other meeting in May. Mm -hmm. The 22nd is not a meeting. We do have the 22nd, actually, yes. Correct, right. thank you, because so the following week is Memorial Day. So, right, let's hold that, and as we get closer, we'll see um, whether or not we need that meeting. Mm -hmm. And we've just had an application from Calix Peak, uh, the third host community agreement. Um, so that will be coming to the board in June. Okay. If I ask, uh, I know you guys are really busy right now. <laughs> uh, I, I would just like to ask them if you say you're too busy, I, I don't mind waiting for the next open spot that we have. So just an update on what's happening to all, all the projects we approved to date. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. Um, I would like to go and see like the hotel. Hotel Lexington, is that? We can talk about that on the 15th. There, um, no, but I'm just saying, but yes. that's just an example. But then, yep. Um, you know, uh, what happened to the Tango? I know what happened to the Tango, you know, mm -hmm. update to all the projects we approved where they stand. Mm -hmm. Just uh, you had to look back in order to go forward. Sure, and, um, sure. I, I think just, I'd also like to add the Atwood House to that to understand yes. between mm -hmm. um, yeah. the historic commission and the stalemate between the historic commission and the developer. developer. Right. Um, I heard differently. Well, let's, that, that's the last that came to the board. And so let's mm -hmm. let's find out specifically where that is. And um, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to provide the details. Yes. If you're busy, don't do it then. I, I don't want to add more burn to what you have right now. But For if, sure. Yeah, that can wait till June if, if yeah. we yeah, I'm, I'm just wanting to, you know, just. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Great. 
Uh, so is it 7.50? Is there a motion to adjourn to town meeting? So motion to move. Oh, second. Great. We'll take a vote starting with Steve. <laughs> yes. Jean. Yes. Ken. Yes. And I'm as well. Meeting Great. is adjourned to town meeting. Thank you. Thank you.